knockout victory. The champion, Michael Spinks, successfully defending his crown. Now let's go to Len Berman at our studios in New York. You, know, you would notice as the rounds go by that those body shots will take their toes. Well, again, McGuigan is the busiest fighter. Laporte, they're trying to knock him out with one punch. And that and he should go. go. The counter left by McGuigan landed, and that jarred Laporte. I don't know why Laporte is just standing still. He's going to be hit. McGuigan is backing him up. Fighting the wrong fight now. He's fighting McGuigan's fight. Under 30 seconds to go on round two. Solid right scored by Laporte. McGuigan uses that elbow pretty good in there. And yes, another right hand by Laporte. The Laporte. Right's inside. Uppercuts landed by McGuigan. Good short punches by McGuigan. Final seconds of round two. A good round for the hometown hero. The champions presented by Old Spice after shave and cologne. I heard a screaming, and I saw some men, the silhouette of some men fighting. They were boxing, and I eased up, and I peeked in. That was the sweetest thing, the best thing that I ever seen in my life. That's what I'll do. That's what I'll do. All you gotta do is smell the morning, splash on Old Spice. Now you're moving, isn't it nice? Up and at em, don't think twice. Pour out a handful, splash on some spice. Nope. Round number three. McGuigan quickly off his stool. Juan Laporte on the left of your screen. And he's standing still again, Tim. Laporte gave that round away by fighting uh, McGuigan's fight toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Sugar Ray Leonard, Gil Clancy, Tim Ryan live. It's nighttime in Belfast. Harry gives the referee the lone judge, and there again, McGuigan using those elbows every time that Laporte gets close. Laporte content to stay flat-footed here as we begin round number three. I know Laporte pretty good, Tim. He's trying to nail Barry with one big punch, which is the wrong thing to do. McGuigan stays busy, digging those hooks to the body. What McGuigan doing now is counter punching, and he's looking good doing it. He's very effective. Short punches. McGuigan throws beautiful short punches. Laporte's manager, Howie Albert, said this was the best he's looked in five years. He was very confident about his chances here against McGuigan. Big fight for both young men. You see what happens when that left jab comes out of Laporte, Tim? It throws, it keeps McGuigan off balance. So Laporte needs to do it more often. There he's hit by a couple of body shots. You hear the crowd chanting, Barry, Barry. It's all part of the play here in the Kings Hall. Laporte is boxing, but he's not going to, he's moving rather, but he's not going to punch it. And now he's, again, he's trying to knock out McGuigan with one shot. That's the wrong thing to do. McGuigan just digs his way underneath the jab and the hooks of Laporte. What well, I like about McGuigan, after he throws his punch, he finishes with the body shot. Now watch you go through the body. He works the body. And he's doing a very good job. Under a minute to go in round three. McGuigan landed one to the belt line. He has received no warnings yet from referee Harry well, he's, let, he's letting it go on. I don't mind that at all, Tim. Low punch by McGuigan again. But he's ripping those body shots good. He's doing a great job. Oh, a drive. solid right by McGuigan. Solid right hand. That shook the fourth thing. I don't like what I see in Laporte. He's starting to reach now. So he, now he, his chin is wide open as he comes in. Under 30 seconds to go. In the third round. Laporte now missing badly. Trying to load up, Tim. That's the reason. McGuigan just keeps throwing those short punches inside. Final 
12 seconds, round three. There he walks in again. Listen to these stuffy noses. Afra doesn't have it. Dristan doesn't have it. Only Sinex has it. Ooh! That quick feeling of relief from instantly penetrating Vicks Vapors, plus a powerful decongestant that opens nasal passages and allows you to breathe freely. Ah, complete relief. For hours and hours, Sinex gives you both instant relief Ooh. and complete relief. Ah. Sinex in regular and extra strength. From Vicks, of course. Now on the left of your screen, in the red trunks, Laporte with a white trim on his. He just keeps those hands moving, and Laporte's not moving his hands at all. Big difference. McQuig was very aggressive in the third round. He worked those body shots, and it was another round that Laporte gave away. Well, some of it was taken away by McQuig and That's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, Harry Gibbs warned them both for using their heads in the early seconds here of round four. Laporte can't get it together. When he moves, he doesn't punch. He has to stand still to punch. First round, he moved and punched. You know, I still think that uh, Laporte gave the round away because he can be boxed. He can make this fight a lot easier yeah, by but, moving. But when they tell him to box, he moves and he doesn't move his hands. You got to move your hands and your feet, Ray. And what he's doing now, he's steady, he's steady uh, retreating and he's giving McGuigan momentum. Now, there's an indication that he isn't loose, just shaking his arms. All week long, Juan Laporte, a very relaxed young man, been training here the last couple of weeks in Belfast. Seemed very confident. Some good jabs by Laporte now, Tim. Well, that would appear to be good right hand. Then he got hurt. Solid Laporte right. was hurt with that punch. No so, question about it. Second time, McGuigan has caught him with a right to the head. Now, what you're going to see McGuigan, he's going to pick his shots now and wait to land that right hand again. I expected the damage to come from the left hook but McGuigan's right hand has been getting through. Well, Laporte has to land a big shot now to turn the momentum around to him because McGuigan is running right through him right now. Yep. Laporte jabbing, but not landing too many. Got the last one. Two jabs of his own. What's happened, Tim McGuig is putting more power behind his jab. That's because he's knocking uh, Laporte back. Wild right missed by Laporte under a minute to go, round four. But sometimes, Tim, even when you miss a punch like that, it gives the other guy something to think about. At least he got it off. We are live from Belfast. Barry McGuigan and Juan Laporte, a 10-round featherweight bout. Big right hand right right by Laporte. His best punch of the fight. Look at the jab work of Laporte. All right, now he's loosening up. He has a dangerous right hand. Beautiful shots by McGuigan. You can't stand still in front of Barry McGuigan and make earmuffs. It's like all making earmuffs. Put your head, hands up to the side of your head because he'll find an opening. You've got to move. Right the the second mark. Excuse me, Tim. Laporte needs to get those hands up. McGuigan still is on the attack. McGuigan's taking liberties with him now. Coming to the end of round four. You'd love to buy a new house, but you can't find a buyer for the house you're in. So you're trapped. Locked in. Caught in a house you can't sell. That's why you need the seller's security plan from ERA Real Estate. If we don't sell your house, we'll buy it. There is a difference in real estate companies. ERA Real Estate, a part of the Commercial Credit Financial Network. If you don't hurry, I'll miss my plane. Well, I'm doing the best I can in this terrible rain. Would a new set of Vanco wiper blades help? Certainly. Put them on. Change to Anco. They clean better than any other blade. Test proven. it. Yeah, now I can see an airplane. Airplane! Oh! Oh! Don't worry, Ollie. It wasn't mine. That's mine. Oh! Anco. The best blades you can buy. Test proven. <laughs> from the King's Hall in Belfast, Northern Ireland, the way we see it, Barry McGuigan after round one has taken charge. 
And he is forcing the issue here early in round five. You know, Tim, I, uh, McGuigan has shown me more than I actually thought he had. I expected a short fight with the fortune knocking him out in the early round. But here he's very impressive. You did? He yes, didn't I say did. that before the fight. The crowd, the people here, <laughs> really supportive of McGuigan. Well, we're into round five, and this so far has been an impressive featherweight bout as we expected with young Barry McGuigan. Any uh, doubters so far have to be convinced he is top of the world class. And don't forget tomorrow you will see the exciting Livingstone Bramble Ray Boom Boom Mancini rematch on CBS Sports Sunday. And Gil Clancy, along with Sugar Ray Leonard and I, will be in the studio along with Ray Boom Boom Mancini to discuss the events of Reno last Saturday night. Tomorrow on CBS Sports Sunday. Don't ask us how we're getting back there, but we'll be there. Bye. <laughs> Meanwhile, we're in round five here in Belfast. The portrait now appears to be falling asleep, which is McGregor so dangerous. really has him puzzled, uh, Ray. He really has the portrait puzzled. Oh, he hurt him with that hook to the body. He hurt him with the hook to the body. Oh, he complained about a low blow, uh, Tim. He well, was rocked just by hit him. That. The jab of McGuigan working. He's the boss here. Yes, he is. It's going to take some hard work by Laporte to turn this fight around. Ooh, that was a beautiful shot. What's the game about McGuigan to the body? That woke Laporte up, I think, a little bit, though, Ray. Now McGuigan's trying to get that right hand in. That, the, left, the left hook to the body has been working. Thing is, that what we expected to see were counter rights over that left hook. Laporte has not been able to land them. I like the way McGuigan uses that elbow as long as he can get away with it. There he used it again. And any time Laporte makes him up, he's in trouble. Laporte needs to, he needs to get busy now, Gil. He's standing there. Solid left inside by Laporte. And a right. He hurt McGuigan. He has him hurt. He has McGuigan hurt. McGuigan backed up to the ropes and Laporte sensing it. He has him hurt, and McGuigan knows he's hurt. McGuigan a little groggy. It was a short punch inside that started this. He has McGuigan in trouble. Let's see what he can do. Here's McGuigan fighting back, though. What a round. Oh, a big left by McGuigan. Two lefts by the court and a right. Now they're just caught a Look at McGuigan fire. McGuigan losing his balance there. He's a little bit disoriented here. Well, one big one now would do it. In round five, Laporte trying to turn it around. And just missed with a big right at the bell. And Laporte turning things around somewhat here in round number five. The last 30 seconds or so of the round, he really hurt Barry McGuigan. And it, were, it was two short punches inside that backed up the young Irishman. The first time in the fight that he's gone backwards. And they're attending to him over there now. His trainer, Eddie Shaw. Second, Patty Byrne. Let's go back and see if we can pick up those two punches inside. Well, inside. Good right hand there. The right hand was the one that did the damage. And now Laporte is still on the attack. Well, this was a little later than where the initial damage occurred. It was earlier, about 15 seconds or so earlier, where he rocked McGuigan with two inside punches and got his legs a little wobbly. So suddenly, the tide turning as we saw it, McGuigan winning rounds two, three, and four rather handily on our cards. Whether Harry Gibbs is seeing it the same way, we'll find out. But Juan Laporte doing the damage to McGuigan, and now we're into round six. Scheduled ten. for ten. I have a feeling this is going to be some round. Well, it took that punch. A lot of the sneak left lead, Ray. It took, that punch by, it took that punch by Laporte, Tim, to really get him back into the ball game. Yes, it did. Well, that's what we had mentioned, Ray. He needed something big, Laporte, and he got it. Now he's standing waiting to get hit. Anytime he makes him up, he's in trouble. He's, uh... Now, Wigan, now, right he's making those ear muffs. Now, Can't Wigan. fight that way. Now, Wigan, right above us, looks very fresh and sharp again. What goes through the mind of a fighter, Ray, after having such a good round, he's standing there and letting McGuigan hit him? Well, quite natural. I think that Laporte exerted himself. He threw a lot of punches in that last round. And I think now he's trying to get a breather. But in doing so, he's taking a lot of shots from McGuigan. Well, you know, we're loading up on the right. All right, I, I think that's the case now, Tim. I think he knows he can hurt McGuigan, and he's trying to load up and hit him with a real big one to get him out of there. 
There he's standing there. That's what I call making earmuffs when you hold your hands up by the side of your head. What good does it do you? McGregor piling up the points. Landed an uppercut inside. Now warning to Harry Gibbs to McGuigan, from Harry Gibbs to McGuigan, to watch his head. When John Clancy is yelling from the point, he's going to tell him to punch. And he needs to punch. Oh, good left hook by Laporte. Solid left to the body, landed by Laporte. McGuigan cutting off the ring. Malaporte pulls him back, but McGuigan keeps punching. McGuigan so mindful of Ray Boom Boom Mancini and that he's a non-stop puncher. Just keeps throwing. Well, that's what wins rounds for you, uh, Tim. We're in round number six, scheduled for ten. Everything is advertised. Again, Laporte is running in with his hands down. Very bad habit. Anytime he stops still and puts his hands by the time of his, by the side of his head, he loses points. Under the 32nd mark we go, the European featherweight champion, Barry McGuigan, ranked number four in the world. Juan Laporte, ranked number four at 130 pounds. Good combination by Laporte and a solid right. seconds round number six there he goes again with those earmuffs the more things cost the better they are that's not always true consider barbasol barbasol has as thick and rich a lather as any other leading foam so it gives you a smooth close shave but barbasol can cost half as much as the higher priced foams Maybe that's why Barbasol is America's fastest growing foam. Saving as much as a dollar on shave cream may not mean much to some people, but getting a great shave for as little as half the price obviously means something to most people. Chili burger, burn it! Nothing like lingering over a nice, lazy, leisurely lunch. And for that upset stomach trouble that can come from eating on the double, there's new chewable Alkamints from the fast, fast relief people of Alka-Seltzer. It would take both a Tums and a Rolaids to get more strength than one Alkamints. No leading tablet works better. So, after your next relaxing meal... Mash and mash! There's new Alkamints. With a strength of two, it's the one to chew. Round number seven. McGuigan off the stool early to begin this seventh round. Comes right back with that hook attack. His hands are quicker than Laporte's, and his punches are shorter. The Clona Cyclone, they call him. A village just below the border in Southern Ireland. He just recently moved with his wife, Sandra, and his baby, Blaine, to a, a village literally 50 yards over the northern border. Gilruski in County Fermanagh, he lives in now. The pride of County Monaghan. Now watch the left jab of Laporte. He just leaves it out there. There he is again, waiting on the road. Anytime he waits to get hit, he gets hit. When Laporte walks away like he like he did just then, he's in trouble because what's going to happen? The Wiggs going to jump right on him. This guy he doesn't get. McGuigan doesn't give you any rest at all. You have to fight with him three minutes of every round, or get out of the ring, one or the other. Bill Clancy, Sugar Ray Leonard, Tim Ryan, we are live from Belfast. It is now 10.40 p.m. here in Belfast. Tomorrow we'll see you on CBS Sports Sunday live from New York. Ray Boom Boom Mancini, Livingstone Bramble. Lightweight championship fight. All McGuigan has to do is throw a uh, leadoff right. He can count on that lazy jab. Wigan landed the left, but Laporte had picked it up, took the sting off it. That was lead off the right hand by McGuigan, and he came back to the body. Now, that's a very good habit to have. He mixes things up well, doesn't he, Ray? He does, Tim. In fact, he's throws very good combination, very clean. He's like a machine. Trained by Eddie Shaw, started boxing at the age of 13. His father, Patrick McGuigan, a well-known singer in Ireland, started him. That was the right hand, lead-off right once again by McGuigan. It just grazed the chin of Laporte. 
Under a minute to go, round number seven. There's a contingent here from Canada to see Barry McGuigan, Irishman from Canada, and a group from New York City. His punches now, Laporte punches now is being telegraphed. Solid right, that block Laporte, right on the ear. That's, that's when he made the ear muffs again, Tim. Anytime he does that, McGuigan makes him pay. Loading up again, Laporte did get the left hook into the body, under the 30-second mark. Seven scheduled for ten. Coming to the end of round number seven. Come on, America. Drive over to the new Firestone Supreme Steel Belted Radio. America's driving to Firestone. Supreme, our best total performance radio, meets or exceeds Detroit Carmaker standards in 14 performance areas. Backed by our best total protection plan, free lifetime tire rotation, wheel rebalancing, and our one-year free replacement limited warranty. Now, buy three, get one Supreme free. The new Firestone Supreme. Firestone. A very important date, and you're really looking great then. That tangle, a cold sore is coming on. Your resume is fine, but the interview's on the line, cause... I feel a cold sore coming on. Quick, use Campophonique Gel. Helps stop cold sores from stopping you. Clear Campophonique Gel acts on developing cold sores and fever blisters to instantly stop pain. When you have to be your best, but that tingle just won't rest. Campophonique Gel helps stop cold sores from stopping you. In the King's Hall, Belfast, Northern Ireland, again McGuigan pops off the stool to start round number eight. Lands a solid right down the pipe. Oftentimes he will get the first good punch at the beginning of a round and sets the tone from which Laporte has not often recovered. Well, the left jab McGuigan has, has been getting through consistently. And I think now it's starting to bother Laporte because McGuigan is considered the puncher and he's boxing. Boxing, Laporte. There he is, there he is making the earmuffs again. Back Any time body. he does that, he has to get nailed. You do that out of frustration, right? You can't open the guy up, so you figure, make the earmuffs, let him throw a punch, maybe I'll nail him. That's, that's what Laporte is doing. Look, Laporte doesn't, doesn't need to do that. Well, he, he should be using his skills. Well, that's what they're telling him in the corner. They're telling him to box, punch, hold the other guy back. There he is making the earmuffs. See, he's looking, he's looking to count. He's trying to make McGuigan punch at him. Look. This, this is what you call a stationary target. See? The there now is calling McGuigan it's the worst in. thing he can do. See, look, he's looking to get off a big one. Great counter punch by McGuigan. He's very calm and cool. He's a machine. Great. Short right scored by McGuigan. See, that's what Laporte's looking to do. Nail him with the finger. Vicious hooks to the body. Very good body movement by McGuigan. He gives you the head. He, he moves it. Works the body. Well, he's improved since his last couple of fights. Uh, it was a lot easier to hit before, Ray. Look how he slipped. Great. He slipped the punch from Laporte, and he comes back with something. Great body shot. This is, very, Tim, this is very discouraging for a fight. I know Laporte at this point now is frustrated and, and very desperate. Has to be only in round five did he begin to turn things around, but McGuigan took it away in round six again. Well, he came out in round six, Laporte, and refused to fight after having a good fifth round. How can you figure these kids out? Now he's slipping punches and he's not counting. McGuigan relentless keeps the pressure on. There, there goes those elbows and McGuigan's again. They work, they work good. Laporte's leaning in there and almost inviting that. He's not doing anything to counter it. There goes the elbow again. McGuigan is just, oh, oh big right, right by Laporte. That's what he was looking for. Nothing happened, though, Tim. Now we're fighting southpaw. This was the southpaw. Now Laporte switched that. That's frustration. That's frustration. Laporte landed that big right hand, and McGuigan hardly blinked seconds of round eight.
What's this tough guy? After aftershave skin conditioner. I know. I thought I was the only guy with sensitive skin. Every time I shave, I get it right here. What do you fellas use? Because shaving irritates my whole face. After. Try it. Looks different. It's rich. It's a lotion. After soothes razor scrape sensitive skin. Hey, this feels great. And smells good, too. Terrific. Sensible care for sensitive skin. After aftershave skin conditioner. By Menon. Bill Levin. Two good combinations by McWiggin. But he sank the Laporte days. I came to work three minutes. And they're going to stand around here. Oh, leg right, right. And a leg right hand by Laporte. Laporte rocked him with that. But McWiggin stays right there again. A big right followed by a left. He had to be in good condition to take that shot, Tim. Well, he should look at Laporte. And another short left. He needs to get, get uh, McWiggin off him and continue to punch. One would think McWiggin's people would have him moving here. We've got him well ahead. He shouldn't be anywhere where Laporte can land the big one. Well, Laporte knows he needs a knockout to win. He needs to keep this up. The crowd alive, they saw those punches land. And another right and a left by Laporte. a little bit, Tim. Yes, Let's he did. Back. Laporte with McGuigan still in, some in trouble here in round number nine. But again, Laporte now is rushing stuff. He's running in. Another good right hand by Laporte, right down the pipe to the nose. But this McGuigan, look at this McGuigan work back. You never know he was hurt. He took some shots. Laporte's looking to nail him with another big one, Tim. There it is. There it is, a right overhand right, knocking McGuigan into the ropes, and he ties him up. First time that he's grabbed him in those conditions. Another one. That one blocked. McGuigan picked that right hand up. Bangs back himself. Look at the stamina, the conditioning of this guy. Now you know why he draws these crowds, Tim. Look at the heart this kid has. A minute to go in round nine. The comeback of McGuig is incredible. I mean, he took a devastating, well, combination from Laporte. And I, oh, that was the one. Laporte landed that one. It was all over. It's getting his all Stand punches off. Beautiful. Juan Antonio Laporte from Brooklyn, New York. Trying for the knockout, he must sense he needs. There it is again. Trying to nail him with a Tim. The former WBC champion. Look at McGuigan work though. McGuigan rallying, backs him up and lands a right of his own. And a right back from the portrait. Everything we expected from these two outstanding battles. The Portes taking a rest. Why? He has to win. Coming to the end of round number nine. Look at McGuigan take it back. This buzz for the crew restoring America's pride in liberty. This buzz for you. You know America takes pride in what you do. Just for you, that distinctively clean, crisp taste that says Budweiser. For all you do, this Bud's for you. Every now and then you'll come across a road like this. That's when more than ever you'll want a car like this. The Nissan 300ZX Turbo. You flick the adjustable suspension to firm and go for it. Because you've got three liters worth of fuel injected muscle under you. It's your road now. And the feeling, like the car, is awesome. Come alive, come and drive. At your Datsun dealer.
The final round, and it has been a classic. It's incredible. The fact that McQuiggan is fighting like it's the first round. It's so hyper to him. You know, he's only gone 10 rounds one time, McQuiggan. You think he'd be a little tired? It looks to me like he can go another 20. Look how quick he is. Every time Laporte thinks he has something set up to get this into the punch. There have been no knockdowns. Both fighters have landed bombs. Laporte twice in this fight. Round four, round eight. Rocked Barry McGuigan, and there's another big right. gonna love you. May I help you? I doubt it. He's looking for a personal computer. <laughs> I must run all the top software. Sure. Easy to use, easy to add on. Of course. Great graphics, a good keyboard. Oh, yes. And a good price. Finished. I'd be very surprised. Friends and uh, both boots are extremely well. But uh, I thought I don't, I don't miss how proud. And uh, I'm very, very pleased. Well, you certainly showed you can also take a punch as well as throw them, Barry. <laughs> he hit me a few dingers, but uh, I just try to keep it under control, you know. Congratulations to you, Barry McGuigan. It, it is absolutely impossible to hear in here with the crowd in the King's Hall in Belfast, Northern Ireland.